something that'll probably save at least like five, 10 minutes of time. So when I took the scans of the Keating's coaches offices, the coaches were busy and they were all um, in meetings. So their doors were closed. So what I did was take scans of the hallway and what I could. And then I went back later when they were done and then took scans again. But the thing is when they were uh, in the meetings, the doors were obviously all closed. And as you can see here, uh, this door, there was a door right here and a door right here that I've already removed. And this up here is one of the offices that we need to, uh, to put in there. So we don't want any closed doors. We want to be able to have a fly in, you know, show uh, all the rooms that we've done and be able to see clearly in all the rooms. So this is a quick tip on how to segment off this door here without getting rid of any other of the other walls that we need. So what you're gonna do is kind of orient yourself a little bit. Uh, try, to, try to just get close to the area in a comfortable position where you can see this. And then we're gonna come over to this block and change your perspective to viewer based perspective. So from here the the controls change just a little bit and it's a little a little wonky so we're going to try to position ourselves right over the store that we want to get into and we're going to try to get inside the building so that way we can be looking out because as you can see we're trying to segment the store and there's nothing out here so that's exactly where we want to be so we're going to look this way ourselves down so we should be in the building now a little bit further yeah the the controls are a little weird don't you know take your time so now we can this is actually a pretty good oh no see you want to make sure that you're not in front of anything else because if I segmented right here I'd be cutting off I think this is like a table right here and you don't want to do that so you got to make sure you're in a clear area. Um, this is actually really good. This is good. So this is going to take two scans, uh, two separate segments. So from here, now we can use the segment tool and click out the door. So I'm just doing, you know, what I can see at this point. It's not that big of a deal. We can change our orientation. So we're going to use the segment tool and then we want to delete it we don't want we don't have no need for that door we're going to be putting in our own other scans with open floors so we're going to scoot up a little bit maybe look up so now we see the upper part of the door take the segment tool again that's a bad click Get the top of that door Segment that out and delete. So now, change back to orthographic projection because it's a little bit easier to move that way. Um, now, as you can see, we have three closed doors that go to two, uh, three open doors now. So now we can clean up our other scans, get rid of some of this extra mess in the front, and then we'll be able to put the merge all the scans together and be able to you know fly through and look into each room. So definitely saves a lot more time than the other uh, option of having to segment the ceiling from the walls, from the floor, and then turn off the different components so that way you can kind of isolate them. This completely cuts out that time. It took me like two minutes. Uh, this is definitely going to save you a lot of time.